All right, it is March 18th. We have officially spent four weeks in California. So it goes on the map. From coast to coast. Woo! Looks so good. After tonight, we can put Oregon, and then Washington, and then Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah. <laughs> Do you see kind of the path? So we're going up, and then we either might go over and down, and across, and up, and around, or down this way, over, up, across and down and over tbd it's still winter in like this region until like july so we shall see this is what i sign up for where's my sunshine in california living we're Keep going from warm to cold <laughs> every other stop that's why he's in a sweatshirt and shorts we we stayed at cracker barrel last night and not the best sleep but we woke up and I could see our breath in the camper because it was 28 degrees outside and we had not turned on the heater or prepared for freezing temperatures. So instead of trying to make coffee this morning, we walked to the gas station. Out of the clouds, there is a plateau. It's 32 degrees outside, you guys, because it is, and it's freaking cold. But we're on the road again. And even though Oregon is cold, it's very pretty. It is uh, Monday morning here Monday, in... Monday, March 21st. Here in uh, Portland, Oregon, we are about to go chase some waterfalls. So apparently there's a lot of waterfalls where we're staying, 30 minutes away. And then later tonight we are seeing Omar and... Mesa. Mesa, out for dinner at the Matador. And it's a rainy day, but that is the Pacific Northwest. And it's interesting because we've gone without rain for like months now. And the fact that it's raining and it's probably going to stay raining for the, at least a month is pretty... It's just funny the different uh, geographies of America and how it all changes. But we are now rainy and got our wet weather gear on and have a space like over the shower to hang it all up. All right, see you guys at the waterfalls. Here we are at the waterfall. It's pretty. There's a lot of people. I had to use the bathroom so Sarah went ahead, but this is crazy. It's really pretty. Really pretty. That's Sarah all the way over there in red. Just enjoying the view. So I gotta go catch up to her, but yeah, she looks so tiny. Here we are, we climbed a few of the tops. So we started down there. We're at switchbacks two out of eleven. We're not gonna go further, but this is the view of the waterfall. It's a little misty. It's also like we're in the cloud. It's so pretty. It is oh, very pretty, very cool. And this is a big old lake. It's a river, Columbia River. Columbia River, apparently. So, yeah. It's about 42 degrees Fahrenheit, and we can already tell like if it was any colder and it was snowing, this trail would be so slick. Yeah. So. We're and we're like home. dressed. And we're we're like dressed and we're feeling the cold a little bit, but there's people there and no Shorts clothes at all, so like... we're getting soft.
This waterfall is called Bridal Veil Falls. Ready? Sarah, we can just do a selfie. You don't have to do all that. I don't know what she's doing. Sarah, we can just take a selfie. No, just ah. wow. Okay, but put that down. Am I so smart here? Kiss me. Close your eyes. This footage is brought to you by Sarah's persistence and annoyance of Art Sanders. So cozy. Everybody leave a comment to let me know how much you loved this. Trip. So cozy. It's the coziest. Oh, I feel so cozy and warm. I just want to snuggle up in a blanket. <laughs> Thank you so much for viewing this footage. Back to your regular scheduled program. <laughs> Bye. Hey, you want to see what I'm wearing? Hello and welcome to day two in Portland, Oregon. We are just driving around the city today, kind of seeing the sights. There is blue skies overhead, so we'll see if we can see Mount Hood, which would be super cool. We're going to go, um, we just passed Powell's books. We didn't ha go in or anything like that because A, we have this guy, and B, Not that parking. interested in a, in a bookstore, really. So, yeah, moving on. But we drove by it, so that counts. Um, but we are going to Pitak Mansion next. Apparently there's a really good view there and hopefully the clouds are cleared out enough or elevated enough that we can see Mount Hood. So, stay tuned. Life on the road. So we're entered the gates of Pitak Mansion. And the trees just all have so much moss on them. And it's just so green, but it's also interesting because a lot of the trees are still bare because it's winter. So I can only imagine how much more green it will be in the spring and summertime. Here we are at the pit off mansion. Look at that sweater. Have we seen that before? <laughs> um, it's got a beautiful view of the city. We're hoping that the clouds clear up, but uh, Henry and Georgiana were really influential in Portland. They came on the Oregon Trail when it, the city was like quite cut off from the world. Um, and they worked for the newspaper. And Very interesting, good talk. City. So this is some kind of mansion, but it looks beautiful. And when we got there, it was a cloud, but now it's disappearing. So we might actually get a view. We're here in uh, Portland. Money, but the ground you can walk around for free, so we're going to enjoy the view in the blue sky. This is a nice mansion. It was built in 1914, and apparently it was very modern, considering the times. It looks pretty. It's on top of the hill, overlooking. Well, yeah, we might be lucky to get a view. Mount Hood. It's pretty. You know what else is pretty? My boy. Got a new collar. Oh, you look we so good. After a year. It's the My same boy. Oh, Pretty city. Very nice view here. We're just hoping that the clouds go away so we can see everything but so far it's cleared up in the last very, like 10 minutes very nice surprise to have this in right by the city Bjorn is happy because you get to sit on the bench because it's pretty muddy right there so our boy is sitting with us nothing new though really we've been sitting here for 30 minutes and the sun is slowly making the clouds go away 
and we can start to see the bottom of the mountain over there. So we're hoping in a few more minutes it will show itself to us. But yeah, we're seeing some blue in the sky. So while we're in Portland, we had to get the Voodoo Donuts because it's a Portland original. Interestingly, the last time we tried donuts was in Portland, Maine with the potato donuts. Check um, out that video. Across the country. Here. Yeah, now we're on the other side of Portland and doing the voodoo thing. Look at these, just to give you a little peek. <sighs> maple oh. bacon, maple blunt something. Yeah, then there's the Homer donut, then this is the grape ape. This is the Captain voodoo Crush, donut. M &M. So yeah, it'll be uh, fun to try. This is our breakfast, lunch, and dinner today. <laughs> Probably tomorrow too, hopefully. Ernst is diving into the Maple Blazer Blunt. It was good, but I thought there were going to be something inside and it wasn't, so it's disappointing. But. but it uncovers the more of our. You want to taste this? Pack. Yeah. It's good donut. Mm hmm. Good donut. I am gonna try the grape ape. You want something? No, I just gotta get the flap so I don't go crazy. Mmm. It tastes like grape. But like. It's called a grape. No, but it tastes like grape juice, which is different than actual grapes, you know? Yeah. Tastes like grape juice. Mm -hmm. Not wine, grape juice. Cheers. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Better than one. So we have our donuts. Take exit six and we also have the view and clear skies of Mount Hood, which is so powerful and just like stands over the city. So that's one time zoom in. Take exit six, then keep And left. it's just so cool, because it just peeks out. Like sometimes if you're facing towards east, it's like, oh, there's Mount Hood. And yesterday in coming in, we had no idea that even existed because of how like cloudy it was. Cloudy and rainy. So nice little surprise. Yeah, for sure. Hi everyone, we are headed out of our Portland Gresham location, but we are still in Oregon for at least a few more hours. We're going to check out Cannon Beach next. If you have seen pictures of the Oregon coast, you've probably seen pictures of Cannon Beach. Ernst is one who has not seen those pictures yet, so he's going with fully no expectations whatsoever. Um, and that's gonna be really exciting. And that's our stop along the way to our overnight in Washington State. So, still in Oregon, but this will be the last stop. There's a big old mountain. We don't think that's Mount Hood, because Mount Hood is going the other way. But that's, that's north of us. That might be Mount St. Helens. I don't know. So what we found is that in Cannon Beach, you can actually, there's three different spots at the north side of the city, the midtown and south side of the city that have RV parking. And we were the last spot of the three in Midtown, which is perfect for the Haystack Rock location. And Ernst still has no idea what we're getting into, so let's go check it out. But pro tip, Google RV parking Cannon Beach and find yourself a parking lot for your bad boy. Worth the stop? Big stress. Yeah, right? That's the lighthouse out there. And more rocks. I think I've seen pictures of this. You have, I'm sure of it. A lot of people. A lot of people. 
I think it's also low tide because on like Google Maps and stuff like that, Ernst, it shows that, that rock is like in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Bjorn loves it. There's so many people and there's fog. I know, he loves the sand just as much as the snow, huh? Like he's just running, just zooming, zooming on the beach. Such a beach dog. We're trying to keep him out of the water because we still have an hour and a half drive, but look at his dog. Beautiful place. You've got the mist of the clouds. That's so pretty to frame the backdrop of Haystack Rock. And this is definitely low tide because the dry sand isn't until all the way up there. And on the rock, a bunch of birds. Probably a bunch of bird poo too. It's cool to see the water swirling. It's very, it almost looks very green, very clear water. Why are you looking like that? Are you praying? No, the sun is in my eyes. Oh. I don't want to bend over my head, so I'm just closing my eyes. So I'm standing that, what do you mean? <laughs> As we're walking, there's more haystack rocks, or more rocks. We're walking around haystack. It's cool to see at low tide. Anybody spy any bald eagles up there? Oh, cool, thank you. That's a So one of the clips you heard was a Haystack Rock Education Program volunteer discussing and educating the public about different um, species and the starfish and the anemones that are growing on the rocks and I think that's a really cool program to educate the public and explain why you shouldn't be climbing on rocks because even though they're filled with like hard looking crusties when those crusties go back underwater they open up and are really animals so really cool. All right now that we have gone to Cannon Beach and Haystack Rock we are leaving Portland, our 32nd state, and headed to Washington state, which is our 33rd state. My rows of Oregon would be the nature, like the woods, the forests, the um, like low clouds and stuff like that in the morning. It's just really, really nice and refreshing and calm, at least in my opinion. I don't think I could live here and deal with it all the time, but nice change up. Um, also, the beach was really cool. What do you mean you can't live with the rain and the weather all the time? It's very similar to Norway. Yeah, but I'm just going to be depressed and sad and whatever. Like the rain, like the low clouds don't see the sun. Yeah. Anyway. I'll do it for Norway, I won't do it for Portland, Oregon. <laughs> um, then second, what is it, the thorn? Oh, also, a Rose was the family that was hosting us, was really, really kind and loved playing with Bjorn and stuff, and that was just really nice. Um, I don't think I had any thorns. The waterfall was, we did a lot in Portland. The waterfall was cool too. Um, not too many thorns. Bud is Seattle, Washington with my family, which is two stops from now. Ooh, we're getting close, we're getting close. All right, sorry for rambling. My rose was this whole entire video. Uh, my rose was going to the waterfalls. Apparently some of the Lord of the Rings scenes are based out of there, like the, the elves live there. So that was cool. Uh, 
the voodoo donuts were really good. Oh, that so that was a big good. rose. My buddy, see, I had a little bit of the family. Excited to try all the different food they have and just just live on somebody else's money for a week. Thank you, Dad, for your Christmas gift. <laughs> and Mom. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Sorry, go ahead. My thorn is the weather wasn't perfect because it was raining quite a bit. And when we were looking to see Mount what's the Hood. Mount Hood, it was still a little cloudy, so yeah. we didn't get like a perfect view. But other than that, it was a great visit. See you guys in Washington. Bye. Oh, hit the bell so you know when the Washington video is posted. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. See you later. All right. Number 32. Filling her up.